We're going to turn to health now. Feeling less motivated than usual? It could be your diet. Researchers found that eating a lot of junk food not only leads to weight gain, but can also make you more tired and lazy as well. Dr. Devi is an assistant professor at NYU School of Medicine and a practicing physician. So Dr. Devi, these are researchers at UCLA, and they took a look at rats. Why does what we learn from the rats apply to uh, what we could be experiencing as humans? <laughs> so even though it's counterintuitive, humans are actually very similar to rats in terms of their biology and their neurological system, so we can learn a lot. I mean, in this case, one of the issues is, are these high sugar diets, you know, so we're talking about things like plain sugar, uh, desserts like pastries and cakes, are they affecting some of the chemicals in your brain that might motivate you? But is that just gaining weight when you're heavier than you should be? Is that a, a natural conclusion that you might be less motivated and more lazy as the stereotype goes? Well, that's the thing. So we have to be careful about the stereotype itself. I mean, we have a tendency because our society looks negatively on people who are obese, we might then assume that that's what the study shows, but it could be a few different things. So first of all, it could be that that chemical is affected and that makes a big difference. It's a chemical called dopamine. So if you've ever tried to train a puppy or a dog, you know how when you get it to do something, you actually give it a treat? Sure. Our brain does the same thing. So when we do something that we want to do, our brain gives us dopamine. So if these if this diet, if these sugars affect dopamine, then you're not getting rewarded for doing work. So you might not feel like doing it. And so the effect of that would be what? Well, that you might be less motivated to do certain things. Now we have to look in this study in particular, these rats were looking for water. That's what they were trying to get. Um, and then the ones who were on these unhealthy diets had less water. So we don't know also if the sugar affected their thirst. You know, maybe they weren't as interested right. in that. So maybe some different variables. But interesting yeah. in the study, they said the rats sort of gave up after a while. Yeah, they, the ones that have been eating <laughs> junk food just got a little tired quicker and just didn't want to deal with That's it. That's true. And we've all had that experience, too. Like, think about food coma or what we call food coma, where if you have a really big meal, you know, really sugary meal, then for a few hours afterwards, you feel kind of tired. But it doesn't mean you're lazy all the time. Well, that brings me to... Our next question, though, yeah. when you do have a junk food, and we all have it every once in a while, right, is the effect that we could be seeing, the quote-unquote laziness, a temporary effect? Could we be all experiencing this on a smaller level rather than a longer level, which is what the researchers are looking at, whether or not it made you lazy long term? Exactly. So I think that's the difficulty. I mean, these research may, researchers may have to look at these rats again, like look at their brains and see, has the chemical actually been affected? If that chemical is affected overall, like in the brains of those rats, then maybe it could be long term. But otherwise, I think you bring up a good point that all of us experience this. So we have to be really careful about what we're eating. It does bring up a question about personal responsibility, though, right? Because no one's forcing you to eat junk food. So can you then blame the junk food for your laziness? Well, I don't know if people can blame something else for their behavior, you know, especially food. But I think some of the some, one issue is that in supermarkets right now, people tell us, you know, or these um, labels tell us how many carbs are there, how many calories are there, but they don't always separate it out into what's unhealthy and what's healthy. So it's very difficult for people. Then you think about the cost factor. I mean, unhealthy foods are a lot cheaper than healthier foods. So that makes it difficult for most people. Do you think if we do find out that junk food could affect the chemical in our brain, yeah. dopamine, that there would be some sort of uh, panacea for that? So we could eat the junk food that we <laughs> want, but it wouldn't affect the dopamine and therefore we're not lazy. Well, that would work, but it wouldn't take care of the obesity factor. So if people are obese, then they're more at risk for other health problems like heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure. So we'd have to worry about that still, but it might help with the, uh, the laziness or motivation. Not just the That's motivation true. part. All right, Dr. Debbie, great to see you. Great so, to see you too, Jenna. John? Jenna, can I, can I be a little bothered about the fact that a bunch of rats are helping determine what I get to eat? Well, but Dr. Debbie explained to us, and I'm going to read the end of this article, that rats are a great animal model for humans because there is so much overlap in the systems. Did you know that? Isn't that fun to think about? I, <laughs> I just want a Big Mac, that's all. All right.